Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you guys want to check out my social media or check out a badass kick-ass original story, check out the links down in the description below. Hope you enjoy the video. So in anticipation for Kong vs. Godzilla, I'm going to be reviewing the first Godzilla and Shin Godzilla. Now, I've never seen Shin Godzilla, so I'm excited to review that. Uh, but I'm actually even more excited to review this because I'm not the biggest Godzilla fan out there, obviously. You know, I probably wouldn't even put myself in the top 1 million Godzilla fans. I enjoy it. Uh, I'm more of a Kong dude, I know, please don't hate me, uh, but but I grew up on Kong, you know, I grew up on King Kong, I grew up on the 2005 Peter Jackson one in the 1930, uh, I think 33, yeah, I think it's 33, uh, and then even the one with Jessica Lange in the 70s, uh, which I need to actually revisit that one, because it's been a long time since I've seen that, um, but, you know, I, I enjoy Godzilla, I, and, I, and I really do appreciate the first film, because I feel like the first film, the layers in which it's presented in, I think the first Godzilla film goes deep, uh, especially with the meaning. And of course, any Godzilla fan's going to know that. Um, but, you know, it's just, that's the thing, is I'm not really, you know, the biggest Godzilla fan, and I still noticed it, you know? And that's that's good filmmaking right there, because I felt like, you know, I hang on, let's just admire this Criterion. I love my Criterions. I know you guys hear me say that every time I review one, but I, I love them. And this is actually a really cool Godzilla Criterion because it actually pops up. There's like a pop out for it, but um, Godzilla. Now this actually has the guy, I forget what his name is. I did write it down though on my Instagram review, uh, but he is in Seven Samurai and he's in Hidden Fortress. Um, I forget what his name is, but yeah, he's in this. I like him a lot. He's a... Uh, He's always uh, cool to see on screen. Loved him in Seven Samurai. Uh, Seven Samurai should have been in this. Take down Godzilla. No, I'm kidding. But uh, but Godzilla. Now I, you know, I don't want to. Uh, well, I'm going to automatically assume that you know this film was definitely in response. I believe to the bombings of you know Hiroshima and, and Nagasaki, um, which you know that's what ended the uh, the Pacific campaign in World War Two. And, you know, that's, I think I understand why this film is so, uh, you know, important, uh, especially in Japan, because of, you know, the subject matter that it falls into. Um, because this film, you know, they talk about the uh, nuclear warfare and how it's woken Godzilla, um, you know, and, and, and he's pretty much lost his home. That's deep. That's deep because, you know, that happened. Um, and, you know, I can really appreciate exactly where they were coming from. I mean, this is, you know, uh, even without Godzilla, I think this is a really important film because, you know, it was some horrific stuff, you know, and that's, I mean, a lot of horrific stuff has happened. But, you know, you can definitely respect, uh, you know, the filmmaker's point of view uh, wanting to do this because, you know, it's at the same time, you know, they're trying to tell this really important message, but they're making an entertaining film. Um, and, you know, especially going back to uh, when they're talking about the thing that kind of destroys the fish, they're going to destroy, they want to destroy Godzilla with it, but they're going to have to destroy all the other fish and stuff like that. And I'm pretty sure that might have been sort of a nod to like, hey, you know, you dropped the bomb, sure, you might have destroyed uh, uh, them wanting to continue the war, but you hurt a lot of people. And there's so many different things that you can interpret from this film. Uh, and and I love it. I really do. I think it was. I think it's a great message. You know. I think it's just awesome what they did. Um, and you know, and it's very. It's it's really nice to watch films that are always going to be uh, cultural, cu uh, culturally important because Godzilla is not going anywhere. Uh, even though, like I said, I'm more of a Kong guy, and I'm and I'm rooting for Kong in the new Cod Kong versus Godzilla film. I'm not opposed to Godzilla winning, you know, that's cool if he wins, I, I like Godzilla, I think God, like I said, I feel like Godzilla uh, is more important than Kong, he, he is, I mean, he is, I, I do believe that, even though I'm more of a fan of Kong, I'm, you know, I grew up with him, but Godzilla, you know, he's not only just this big towering monster that's destroying these buildings and these, you know, towns and cities and stuff, and, and, you know, his iconic roar, uh, he is an important figure i mean he is a very important symbol uh to not only cinema but to the real world you know and that's one thing that i can definitely appreciate you know i can understand why godzilla is so popular he has every right to be um and if you have which i'm sure you've seen the original godzilla film uh, but if you haven't you know i don't don't go into the film wanting a monster movie because you're going to get that you you will you'll get a pretty good entertaining monster movie you'll get a pretty cool you know fun entertaining film but 
go into it looking for those messages because you know I, I think that's what it really is all about you know like they they wanted to entertain people i'm sure but you know they're there's messages to be interpreted in Godzilla, and I do apologize in this review if I'm sort of talking about that more than Godzilla itself. It's just everybody knows Godzilla, and I kind of wanted to do something a little bit different with the review, even though, you know, I'm pretty sure there's way more in-depth reviews going on for Godzilla, you know, besides here. But uh, but I, I still wanted to do something a little bit different if I could. Um, but yeah, overall, Godzilla is a good film. Definitely check out the Criterion. I'm a big fan of uh, criterions and this is one of the cooler ones too this is one of the cooler ones but uh but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this review if you did leave a thumbs up maybe subscribe who do you got winning kong or godzilla stay safe out there and i'll see you guys next time